Hi folks and welcome back to the vlog. This week I'm going to be looking at social media, the use of social media for your business. And I want to stress the point of business here because there are two sides or you should really look at seeing your art as two sides. There's one which is the painting, the great fun thing that we all love to do. Um, and, and deeply involve ourselves in and lose ourselves in. Um, and then there's the side of business. Now you may have a gallery um, and you may have multiple galleries, in which case you may not want to involve yourself in this at all and that's totally fine. But for those who want to involve themselves and increase sales and for those who have galleries and want to work with galleries to help promote um, your work and the other people that you're working with, then this is essential to see it as a separate business part. And the reason I say this is when it comes to posting on social media, as I will chant time and time again, there is no greater thing than consistency. Consider that you work for a company and you just don't turn up some days. That is the effect of not turning up on a day when you're doing your business part of your social media and your promotion. It means that that part of your job, which you may dislike, you may not enjoy anywhere near as much as you do your painting, but it is your business and it's so important that you remember that. So turning up every day for work is so important, at least five days a week. I do it seven days a week because you can work on the days that you don't um, uh, want to work and schedule it for those other days. So there's really no excuse not to post every single day. I'm not gonna get onto the specifics of every single um, uh, social media accounts as yet. I'll go into that in more detail later. I'm talking now about basically the business of posting to social media and using social media. It is a brilliant platform. It is an artist's dream because from the comfort of your own home, you can do exhibitions, you can do um, meet your fans, you can post things up that you've just painted, you can sell from there. It is, if you really immerse yourself in, this is a fantastic tool and it's free. Where else in the world can you get such an incredible amount of, of benefit for something that is basically free? So please consider doing this every single day at least something. It will take you five or 10 minutes, but if you consistently do something every day, and if you consistently do it at the same time every day, people will know when to turn up. So really important, please do that. If you do nothing else, just do this 10 minutes every single day. The benefits you will find will be huge. So how to go about it? Well, you have got to get your social media account sorted out. You need to get, in my mind, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram are the, the minimum of the three that you have. As I've said in a post before, try and get the same names if you can. So Joe Blogs Artist on Instagram, Joe Blogs Artist on Facebook, Joe Blogs Artist on Twitter. It's so easy then to be able to find and cross post them all. Make sure all the images that you get are, are great and ready to post. Now, what you can do to save a lot of time is there are what called social media management uh, platforms, which again are free. There's people like Hootsuite, that's H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E, Suite, um, which allows you to hoot about your work, allows you to uh, promote to all three platforms at the same time. You put up one image, you put up one load of, of um, uh, uh, wording to that image, what you want to say with links and everything, and you post to all three at the same time. And you, as I just said earlier, you can post to all three at a later date as well, so you can schedule these. Hootsuite, Zoho, there's lots of different platforms that you can sign up to and download and use and connect in your social media accounts to. So it's that simple, it really takes no time at all. Another thing you might consider using is some video making platform. Now, these are great if you've got a collection of works that you, show, you want to show through, or 
staging work. So you, you can do these, um, which a lot of artists do, the, the um, time-lapse videos and things like this. There are tools within the social media platform you want to use to be able to create these, but it's best to have it separate so that you can cross post on all of them. So consider using those as well. But more than everything else, get yourself signed up. But when you do so, please make sure that you sign up as a business user. So for example, Facebook, you have to sign up as an individual, even if you don't use that individual account. And from there, you can create a uh, business account for your, because this is a business. And here's the reasons. At the moment, at the time of going to press at this point in time, as an individual, first of all, it's illegal to run a business on Facebook. It's against their terms and conditions, and they could take down your page, which means you lose everything, okay? So you need to be able to mark yourself as a business for that reason. There are more reasons as well. Private accounts, I believe, at the moment only have about up to 5,000 following. So you can't get beyond that. You can't get beyond 5,000 friends and hold on to them. Now, if you want to grow to the, the you know, tens, fifteens, twenties, 30,000 followers and everything else, which you deserve to have, you can only do it through a business page. But moreover, also you can see stats and all sorts of, uh, important information about how people are interacting with you. You can also advertise if you decide to boost a post or, or, or get more um, uh, information about events and things like this. None of this you can do on your private page. So when you do sign up to all of these accounts, make sure that you get a Pri a business account for these. Now, if I believe recently on Facebook that if you have a private account and you've been using it for years, I believe you can change it over. You can't change it into a business account, but you can change it over into a fan account, which has a similar um, benefits as a business account. So look into signing up, changing your account if you've got one for a long time into a fan account, and that enables you to move over into a much more business-like uh, setting and allow you to keep the followers you already have and move them over to that. So please, three things. Sign yourself up to one of these marketing programs to be able to post to all your things quickly and simply like that. Two, consistency, consistency, consistency. Every single day do something and try to do it every single day, at least once a day at the same time because people get used to that. And three, business. It is your business. So don't use a private page on any of these accounts if you can. I hope that's been helpful. I'm gonna go into more detail, as I say, about specifics about Facebook, about Twitter, uh, Twitter not so much, unfortunately, I don't know as much about it as I should, um, and Instagram and how to use them effectively and also go on to advertising and whether to use it and how to use it um, effectively. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with that. I hope it's been helpful and thanks for popping in. Any questions, mark at thevlog.art, just ping them to me and I'll try and cover them for you. Um, everything else is in my book, The Artist's Handbook. Help yourself to a copy on Amazon or on theharbourgallery.co.uk forward slash books. And thanks for popping in. Have a great week, folks. Bye for now.